Hey guys, I do my help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.4. Yes, Apple has just recently released 13.3.1, but Apple has just been quickly releasing new software updates for iOS 13 in hopes to fix and address as many issues as possible. With iOS 13.3.1, there's still a few issues that Apple has yet to address, and there's also some issues and features that were promised to be fixed and delivered with iOS 13 that have yet to be delivered. So iOS 13.4 should hopefully bring these. Now, we're gonna talk about release dates and of course, we're gonna talk about some of the fixes that Apple needs to bring to the software. First off, release dates for iOS 13.4, a beta one should be any moment now. If you're watching this video on February the 3rd, any day now, we could see the next beta for iOS 13, 13.4, beta one. Now it is February 3rd, we could see this on this week or the next week, Apple has been quickly ramping up and delivering these betas in order to fix as many issues as possible. Now we know that iOS 14, beta one should be delivered on June, the first week of June or second week of June of 2020 at WWDC. So Apple will be pouring most of its effort into iOS 14, but iOS 13.4 could very well be one of the last major updates to be released release for iOS 13. So let me say that again, major updates to iOS 13. So 13.4. Well, first off, iPhone 10R users, you guys are still experiencing cell connection issues and reception issues overall here in the United States, as well as in the UK. Apple has failed to fix the issues with iPhone 10R reception. So 13.4, of course, will be aiming to fix these issues as well. Now, I know that most of you guys have seen minor improvements on 13.3.1, but many users, including myself, the iPhone 10R continues to have reception issues big time on the latest this iOS 13. Now, one minor bug that I've come across after updating to the official release for iOS 13.3.1, which was interesting, I did not encounter this bug throughout the beta process, that is the messages delivering issue. So notifications not delivering properly. So if I set my device down and it's sleep, right? It's in sleep mode, it's laying down on the table. The notification for messages in Wi-Fi will not display, would actually light up the display or show me the notification. If I tap to wake, the notification will be there, but it will not notify me that a notification came in. Now, again, I did not encounter this issue throughout the beta process for 13.3.1. However, I did encounter it now on the official final release, which is kind of interesting. iOS 13.3.1 did also address minor issues with echo on speakerphone. Most of you guys are also reporting that 13.3.1 has yet to fix these issues for you on FaceTime calls when on speakerphone. So minor issues that need to be addressed there with notifications and the speakerphone, especially on FaceTime calls. Now, if you continue to have issues with the emails application, you're not alone. Many users are still reporting issues with the emails application built into iOS. Now, the emails application has really been plagued with iOS 13, and it's just continued to have issues overall. This kind of reminds me of the issues with Maps when Apple switched from Google Maps to Apple Maps. There were just issues after issues, and the emails application just really, really has issues loading messages, also delivering message threads, loading attachments. Just the emails application has been a disaster on 13, I was 13 in general, and 13.3.1 did attempt to fix most of these issues, but there's still some, a lot of users are still complaining. Now, one feature that was promised for iOS 13 that Apple has yet to deliver and hopefully 13.4 will deliver is sharing folders in cloud. So if we click on select here and we select a folder, take a look at the share icon here. It sort of grays out. You can't really share your folders in the cloud, although you can share the content inside the folder. You can't actually share the folder itself. So it's kind of interesting to see that Apple has yet to deliver this feature. I'm not quite sure what might be the holdup, but iOS 13.4 hopefully will bring iCloud folder sharing to iOS 13 finally as an official feature. Now, finally, I wanna talk about the new emojis. There's 117 new emojis coming to the iPhone. Now, I'm not quite sure if Apple will be delivering these with iOS 13.4 or any iOS 13 release in the near future. This will most likely be delivered with iOS 14 in the near future, but Apple is definitely, definitely adding 117 new emojis to the keyboard of your iPhone. There's just so many new emojis coming your way, so stay tuned for that. Again, not sure if these will be delivered with 13.4, most likely not, but I did want to talk about the new emojis that are set to be coming soon. I'll link the video in the description down below so you can take a look at all the new emojis that are set to be coming to the iPhone. Thank you for watching. What's next? iOS 13.4 in the near future. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.